skip to five minutes for Java edition. Hey guys, welcome back to another video on Divis World. So today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to use shopkeepers. And yes, yeah, subscribe to Divis World. So, first you do the command slash shopkeeper give. Then you put your chests down and click in the air like this until you get the one you want. I'm going to show selling, no, I'll show bookshop first. So, it's a bookshop. You put whatever book you've written. So, ah, uh, yeah, very good book. You put that in the top row. And whatever you want to, want people to have to buy it for, there. Okay, maybe I have to sign the book. Let me sign the book. Ah, uh, ah, uh, four times author me. So you put that at the top. You check in here. Okay, you can only do it with emerald and emerald blocks. I didn't think that was okay. Okay, I don't know how to get rid of this after you've done it. You might just need to delete it and put it back again. So you can do this basically. And then just click on it normally and trade for it. But I don't have any I don't have any emerald blocks. So next click on the air until you get buying shop. Put that down. You put some emeralds there and whatever you want to buy there then put up the price of that so then you put in one strip mangrove log and you get four emeralds next selling shop this time it's the opposite to buying shop what you do is you put in what you want to buy like a strip jungle log and put in emeralds at the bottom then you click shift and click this and put up the price to whatever you want and you can put up this as much as you want and then trade for it I don't have emerald blocks and finally the, the one most people use trading shop so you put that there and this time you can use a stripped jungle log for a stripped oak log you can do it whatever you want it doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be a certain thing so you can put them. ah wait okay you don't put it you don't put thing in the bottom of the chest you just right click this and put it there and put it up and down okay now I'm gonna explain the buttons so set shop name name so now it has name above it then move shopkeeper and you can move it around then view shop inventory that just takes you to the chest then toggle baby variant now it's a baby uh, toggle notifications so then if, if someone trades with you it will tell you then you can choose the different variants so different biomes you can give it a different job so now it's the brewer and you can give it different badges like this. Yeah, I'm gonna put mine to diamond. And if you click this and click this it'll delete it and if you click this it'll cancel. And it also tells you how to use it if you just hover over this. Uh, this will take you left a page, this will take you right a page but I don't have enough stuff to go to the next page. 
and now I'm going to show you how to do it in Java Edition. So, hello Java Edition players, or Bedrock Edition players that haven't clicked off the video yet. So, now, how to do it on Java Edition. Do shopkeeper give, and click, click in the air to change between things. So, bookshop. I'll show bookshop first, let me just put down the chest. Why is there a claim for me here? Okay, so click this, click there, and I think this is a bookshop. Yes. Okay, let me just quickly get books because I forgot to get them. And some emeralds for other things. Okay, so you write a book and put R four times. If you put that in it won't work, you just have to you have to sign it before. Sign and close and put it in. Then when you click on this it won't let you, so you have to crouch and click it because it's not ready. You have to do this to change the amount of emeralds it costs and you can do the same here but with, but does it with emerald blocks so I'll put it to two emeralds click it uh, I don't know why this doesn't work I think because it, I only have one copy of this, it doesn't let me buy it. So yeah, you just need to put another in and it should work. Then shopkeeper give again. Click in the air to get selling shop. Like this. And then you, you put in there. Uh, You put in what you want to sell at the top, so I put in 64 strip mangrove logs. Then you do this and up the price. And you can just buy it. But you but you earn it yourself again. You just have to, oh, uh, notifications, you'll see what that means later in the video when I show what all the buttons do. So next Next is buying shop. Click the chest, put it down, and this time you put in. So you put in emeralds and you put in one of what you want to buy at the bottom. And you can up the amount of emeralds that you'll get, no, what they'll get for buying. So, for example, like that. You can also up the amount of crisp, stripped crimson stems you, you get. Wait, no. Cri the amount of stripped crimson stems you you pay to do this. So two strip crimson, two stripped crimson stems for three emeralds. You get three emeralds, and the person gets three stripped crimson stairs. I mean stems. Then, the best one, the one most people use, is trading shop. This is trading shop. So, what you do this time, is you put in what you want to sell. So, I'm going to sell three stripped warped stems. Actually, this block is annoying. I'm going to change it to that. That's easier to say. <laughs> stripped acacia log. So, I'm going to make that. So you get six stripped acacia logs and you have to pay one stripped acacia log for that. 
so then you put in this. Well, first you need to put in the six in there so you'd be able to get it. You click this, you click here, and now you have it and they got the one script. Now I'm going to show you what the buttons do. So you click move shopkeeper here to move it whenever you, wherever you want. Click shopkeeper name and it will change the name above it. You can change it to a baby or not, like that. You can change if it tells you if someone bought something here. You can view what's in the chest from there. It tells you how to use each thing here. I'm pretty sure you can change it as well. And just test. I don't know. You can test it when you first use it. This goes to next pages. This goes back. This just tells you what page you're on. Then you can choose what biome it's from. See? Then here you can change what profession it has. So now it's a librarian. I'm just going to change it today. Now it's. Well, not a library. Geographer, whatever. Uh, now it's a fish person. Fisherman, I don't know. <laughs> then you can change the colour of the badge. So green, diamond. And if you click here and click the green, it will delete. If you click the red, it will it will cancel. Okay, no, it doesn't change as well. So that's how to use shopkeepers and. Thanks for watching, goodbye.